Hiya, Amy here, and I have an easy gender-neutral birthday card idea to share with you, and it's featuring a new stencil from the July release at A Colorful Life Designs. Now here is this beauty, it's called Fairway Ball. Super unique and fun, and I'm so excited to play with it today. So you can see I have an A2 size card base of Nina Classic Crest Solar White. I have my blending brushes. I'm knocking my camera all around to make you nice and dizzy. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I have my Paradise Found Spa collection of inks. Now here's a photo of the finished card today. I'm also going to show you a picture of the inside to give you a, an all-around idea of how this card looks. But it came together super quickly, very fun and colorful, and great for anyone. So I will link the products that I used in the video description box below if you expand that area and scroll down. But I do have a smattering of inks from Catherine Pooler. These are very juicy and pigmented colors. Uh, great for ink blending and stamping and all that jazz. So I use these inks a lot. I'm very happy with them. So if you're in the market uh, for a bright and vibrant dye ink, then you may want to check these out. But I'm starting with this orange color and then moving into yellow and then I will come in on the top with some teal and blue colors. So it's kind of a partial rainbow. Um, this is the daydream color. It's more of a teal. It's one of my favorites. Um, this particular set of ink pads is one of my favorite. They're a little bit more earthy, um, kind of muted, not quite as in your face, but still not lacking at all in color. So you can see here, super detailed, awesome design. You saw how quickly that came together. But I do decide I want to continue the design a little bit on the inside of the card. And the way that I usually like to do this is just by using some residual ink left over on the brushes. Uh, I don't want it to be too dark on the inside of the card because I don't want to use up any space that I need to write. So I need it light enough that I can write over it. Um, on the inside of the card to the recipient. So just using residual ink, then you can get the feeling of the front of the card without it being too dark where it's gonna inhibit that space. So I'm just gonna reinforce the crease on this card base with my bone folder just to make sure it sits ni nice and flat. And then here I'm gonna shop my sentiment book to figure out how I want to finish the card. So this is my storage solution. This is where I store um, my sentiments. I do have a separate binder for my critters, like my die cut colored critters, um, but this is just for word sentiments and things like that. So I have a lot of the stuff on hand ready to go. I do decide to go with this happy birthday die cut. Um, I will link whatever is still available in the video description box below if you expand and scroll down. But I have these awesome stacked sentiments from LDRS Creative that I recently got. It's one stamp and one die. So you get all these little strips ready to go um, so you can keep them on hand for your card batching or when you're able to sit down and make a bunch of cards. So I decided to use one on the front of the card and one on the inside of the card. And the one on the front of the card I'm using these little thin foam strips. I get them from Amazon. Um, they're very fam they're very similar to the Doris brand if you're familiar with those, but it's just a nice way to add a little pop of dimension without too much extra bulk. So I did use that on the bottom of the die cut sentiment of happy birthday and then I will use the liquid glue um, to attach the one on the inside of the card. So once I'm done struggle bus with my pin for my glue, <laughs> we'll eventually move on here, but I'm gonna lay this sentiment down right on the center on the inside. Um, and what's cool about these, you can emboss with them, you know, white embossing on black. These I just have black stamping on white just to make it easy, but these are great if you batch a bunch of cards because you can have a lot of stuff ready to go on hand. And here's the finished card. So sending birthday hugs and wishes. It says happy birthday on the front of the card and that big sentiment. And then may all your wishes come true with that nice subtle ink blending on the inside of the card. So this release at July is chock full of awesome um, geometric designs, which I personally think work great for masculine cards or gender neutral cards. So be sure to check out the rest of the release. There's tons of good stuff. And don't forget my coupon if you shop and save on your complete order. So thanks so much for watching. I'll check you next time. Bye.